The governor is also recommending schools delay in-person learning until late September. Several districts, including Madison, Estill, and Scott counties, had been planning to welcome some students back into the building before that announcement was made yesterday. LEX 18's Conroy Deluche tells us how schools and parents are adjusting. When we visited Estill Springs Elementary School last week, only a mask could hide the smiles on teachers' faces as they prepared their classrooms. My building, Monday through Friday, starting out on the 24th, will look like it looks any other day, but it will be missing our favorite people in the building. That's because all students will now begin the year remote learning. Principal Jessica Mullen says her staff is reaching out to the families of each of her 500 students to find out what they need, whether it's a computer, internet access, a learning packet, even just a check-in. But you better believe we are going to gear up our home visits very quickly. It's time for us to see those kids. I'm hanging in there. She's hanging I'm in there. Scott County is also readjusting to 100% remote learning. Hannah Trent says she has no work from home option because she's a general manager at a local restaurant and was planning to send her three kids to school five days a week. I work 50 hours a week, so doing three different grades in school and working 50 hours a week is going to be a hard one to figure out. She only has one computer at home right now, but is relieved that Scott County is pushing back the start of school until September 8th to give teachers and parents a chance to adjust. I'm not excited that school's been pushed back, but it also gives me more time to be able to come up with a plan as to what I'm gonna do for the virtual. Back in Estill County, school is still starting in less than two weeks. Mullen says her teachers are working hard to be ready for the 24th. And despite all the changes, she says carrying a positive attitude is still the most important thing of all. I feel like through these difficult times, we will all be better and I think we need to take time to reflect on that through the journey. And I hope it's over very quick. Conray Delouche, LEX 18 News.